Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every person killed, Minister, on the roads leaves behind a family, friend and a community whose lives are forever changed. And when I'm speaking about people being killed, I have contacted ministers in this, uh, in this government twice looking for help to get a disability cert for a child of Maya. She is in danger of being choked by the seatbelt in her car. The very thing that should be saving her. Uh, why? Because her family need to get a primary medical certificate. If they get, got this, they would be able to buy a specially adapted car for Maya. I'm waiting a response from two ministers. A request I put in on April the 2nd, 15 days ago. I'm still waiting for a response. I went back to both ministers again today, looking for an urgent response. The truth of the matter is, every time this child has to go into the car, she's at risk of dying. Surely this is something that can be rectified, uh, Minister. Transport Minister Eamon Ryan was warned that underinvestment in roads and infrastructure could lead to 77 deaths and 381 serious injuries over the next five years. But the minister seems undeterred by this, and he continues with his agenda of not investing in roads. And when we talk about roads, we have to go back to my own uh, constituency, West Cork. The Cork County roads are getting under, uh, totally under budget uh, from this government, continuously, year in, year out. Every excuse you was hearing the sign of the doll to say that, they, that they're, um, they, don't, they, they should get money, they don't. The error report, every report that's ever come out from the Cork County Council has proven that Cork roads are getting the most underspent in the country. It's no wonder there's debts there.